Good morning, my dear good students. My name is Mrs. Sikeche Azode of Physical and Head Department, Federal Government College, Portacourt. I'm here to present a lesson to my SS2 students. Topic is gymnastics. And let's see to the objective, that is the things you will derive at the end of the lesson. The specific objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to, one, define gymnastics, two, state the classification of gymnastics, three, outline the objectives of gymnastics, four, mention the safety precaution, five, mention the equipment and the facilities. Now, let's go to the definition of gymnastics. Gymnastics is defined as a systematized form of exercise performed with or without apparatus to produce a particular effect on the body and also achieve a high standard of fitness and coordination of body and mind. Now, let's see to the classifications of gymnastics. Gymnastics are classified into two. One, floor activities. Two, apparatus work. Let's take it one after the other and explain what it is. Floor activities. These include stance and tumbling activities. They are exercises performed on the ground without apparatus. And stance activities, examples are teller seats, sail walk, crab stand, crab walk, head stand, hand stand, etc. This can be done individually. Dog fight, wheelbarrow, lifting the stack, etc. are done with two people. Others can be done in groups. Examples are pyramid, centipede, etc. In tumbling activities, examples are forward row, backward row, cartwheel, log row, etc. Now, let us watch a brief video so tell us more on floor activities. Now these are the some of the uh, floor activities we have been discussing. Watch this person, see the lateral lodge, watch their movement of the legs and hands and the body. Watch scarf phrases. Watch the heels. See how this person is standing. Squats. They are all under floor activities. Watch the movement of the heels, the hands. Squat thrusts. Watch the movement of the body. Calf walk. They are all floor activities they are not using any apparatus in this type of exercise watch their hands how they move them the movement of the hips and bridge side kick watch this person see how he's she is raising the leg hairs and so on bridge watch the hips the hip movement prone lift alternative alternated watch them watch the heels watch the movement of the body let's go to apparatus work these are exercises performed with apparatus apparatus are things used in performing gymnastics examples are rope climbing pull up balance work as strike boots, true boots, etc. Now let's see to the equipment used in gymnastics. 
These are tests used in gymnastics that's all to perform exercises. They, they can be transferred from one place to another after use. Examples are mats, phones, rope, voting bus, wooden bus, etc. Now let's see to the fertilities. These are those items that cannot be transferred from one place to another after use. They are fixed at a place. Examples are parallel bars, horizontal bars, balance beam, etc. Now, that's all about the facilities and the equipment we have finished about that. Let's go over to objectives through values of gymnastics. One, it makes a person more flexible. Two, it increases the mobility of the joints. Three, it also increases your skills for sports of various types. Example, running, jumping, kicking, it is. Four, your power of endurance is increased. Five, it improves form and entertainment, like in circles, Calisthenics, it is people will gather and watch, and at the end they will feel happy. Six, it also makes the body strong. Now let's go over to safety precautions in gymnastics. One, inspect each apparatus before using it. Two, have a proper warm up before exercises. Three, make sure that the playing ground must be free from harmful objects such as sticks, pebbles, broken bottles, holes, etc. Four, in tumbling and voting activities, a spotter should be provided. A spotter is a person who assists the performer. Four, five, a piece of apparatus should not be overcrowded. Six, enough space should be provided between one person and the other, especially when performing tumbling and swimming activities. Seven, listen to and obey the instructions. All these are the safety precautions that guys can now let's go over to the officials, the officials in gymnastics. One, the referee, he starts and ends the activities when it is time. And also watch whatever the performers are doing. Two, judges, there are four. The judges are... The judges perform. The judges, the judge, the performers. Number three, timekeepers. They keeps the time of starting and ending of the activities. Four, the doctors. They treat the injured. Five, scorers. They record the score of each performer. My dear students, this is the end of our lesson for today. I'm sure you will be able to answer the following assignment that I'll be giving you on the board. Like one, define gymnastics. These five equipment used in gymnastics. Three, mention five safety precautions in gymnastics. Four, state the classification of gymnastics and give two examples of each. This, the email on the board is where you will submit the assignment. Thank you.